Anganghaseyo, and welcome to the Busan Midnight Movie. I'm your host, Donald. Folks, we got a strange one for you tonight, because tonight's feature is the football comedy slash marine recruiting film, Come On Leathernecks. Before we get to that though, we have the next chapter of the Great Alaskan Mystery. Jim's life is spared from the explosion by an alternate take. All of his near-death experiences lead him to be an adrenaline junkie and he starts robbing passers-by. Dr. House meets one of Jim's victims and feels an immediate spark. Then a staged radio message sends the group to an abandoned mine shaft which Brandon collapses after their descent. And now, the penultimate episode of the Great Alaskan Mystery, Episode 12, Electrocuted. Welcome back! Tonight's feature is 1938's Come On Leathernecks. Young football star Jimmy Butler is about to graduate from the Naval Academy and sign with the Chicago football team, but first he has to tell his father, Colonel Butler, that he won't be joining the Marines. His father's assistant, Lieutenant Dolan, shanghais Jim and drags him to the Philippines where they have to face gunrunners while Jimmy's agent keeps trying to get him back home and... What is this movie? I've watched it and I still don't know what it is. Maybe you'll have better luck with tonight's feature, Come On Leathernecks. Okay, so he has a football contract, which is both safer and more profitable than being a Marine, but that's a bad thing. Oh, hello everyone! I'm still trying to get my head around this movie. The film was made in 1938, which precedes the start of World War II, so it's not a stealth propaganda flick, but it's not advocating enlistment anyway since it never says anything about service or patriotism. The only reason offered for why Jimmy should be in the Marines is that his father wants him to and he'd be very good at it. Only the movie started with his father wanting to see him play football, something he's already good at, and we've just seen the introduction of Valerie which is going to lead to a romantic subplot and then Jimmy will be involved with defeating small arms smugglers and... I have no idea what to say about this movie. Trying to parse it is giving me an aneurysm. I I'm gonna go sit down. You go ahead and try to figure out what's going on in the second half of Come On Leathernecks. That was tonight's movie, Come On Leathernecks. It can bite me. Here's a preview of our next movie. Jeez, how are we gonna spin this one? Is it a film about dark obsession? Life is but an empty bubble. Maybe a movie about science gone wrong. Oh, how about a good old fashioned murder? I beg your pardon. Ah, you're right, Godfrey. There's no gain around it. It's the screwball comedy classic My Man Godfrey, next time on the Busan Midnight Movie. Tommy, there's a very peculiar mental process called thinking. You wouldn't know much about that. Yeah, great. Whatever. If you enjoyed yourself, wow, that's impressive. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe, and as always, stay safe, stay inside, and stay spooky. Hey folks, just a short addendum here at the end. I was invited to be a guest on last week's episode of Pseudo Cinema, where Danny, Peter, and I discussed Roger Corman's original Little Shop of Horrors. So if you missed my endless bloviating about film, that's where you can get your fix. I had a great time and want to thank Peter and Danny for having me. Check out the video in their channel for great discussions of lost and obscure films, and I will see you next time right here. Thanks.